it's not of him that will it or of him that run it but of God that showed mercy according to that scripture the word translated mercy in Acts 13 34 as I've said here can be interpreted holy or just things holy or just things so one of the things that provokes the mercy of God is that people decide to adopt a holy disposition when there is mixture you separate yourself and say others can do it but not me hallelujah when there's corruption you separate yourself others can do it but not me a man that takes the righteous side a man that is, decides to to comport himself in holiness separate from the ways of this world such a man will never lack the mercies of God two things we need to pray we need to examine our ways quickly we need to take an inventory of our lives are we beginning to like compromise some things some things that you have abandoned suddenly you are finding compatibility with it what you are doing is that you are negotiating with your mercy but the bible says that they that observe lying vanities they forsake they are messy. Those things are lies. They are vain. Righteous men must rise from this land again that will raise the standard of God. We must reach the finish line. That's the legacy that we must give out to. And it's possible to begin in the spirit and to end in the spirit. It's possible to begin with prayer and to end in prayer. As you are leaving this world, you are uttering some prayers. It is in that mood. be upon our children. May they be stronger, more courageous than we could ever imagine we could be. May the hand of the Lord advance them and may they have courage to kill their giants in their time. The Bible says a seed shall serve you. It shall be reckoned for generation. Why, where you are sitting, you want to begin to take inventory and pray quietly. And tell God how much you need his mercy. How much you need his mercy. Because my strength shall no man prevail. The race is not to the swift, and the battle is not to the strong. And you started liking something that you abandoned, and you are having a spirit of deception is making you think, Well, does it really matter? That is in the posture of a man negotiating with his mercy, so observing lying vanities thinking that God will shut down his standard because of him. We are his offspring. Consume us with your mercy. Do not allow us to our own devices. For at our best we will self-destruct. But preservation is in thee. For it is written that with thee there is mercy. And in thy sanctuary there is plenteous redemption. Let no one be lost when we arrive at the finish line. 
Let all the mighty men be preserved and their works in righteousness chronicled in the books eternal. That our days will not be wasted in the flesh and in vain things. But by like villains will mount up with wings and wax strong in fact. That the anointing upon us will not be in vain. Will not adorn the kingdom of darkness and promote the agenda of the devil. But God will look upon us and he will be pleased. He will release the mark of his approval saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well. Can we ask him I need a little help so that I move up to the mercy seat. I'm in need of that mercy. Put me on that seat. Look not upon my failures and my fault. Look not upon my faults and my limitations. But let your mercy make me the choices fine in thy kingdom. Today is not about power. It's about your mercy. Your mercy new every morning like the streams of the Negev. Grant, O oh God, that even when we become hardened to your spirit, when our heart waxes rebellious against you, do not, Lord, take your mess utterly from us. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Your journey will not be wasted. God will stand by your side and when you are weakest, he will be strongest. In thy sanctuary, lend us redemption. Redeem and redeem again mortal men from destruction. We call upon you today that you might do us this great favor. Put us on the seat. Let the gaze of the cherubim look upon us steadfastly, that we be not lost. Do not let me to my devising. The Bible says that Elijah, he went on a journey of his own devising. Nobody led him. He devised the journey. That was the end of his mighty prophetic ministry. Why not tell God, do not leave me to my own device. For all men that devise by themselves, self-destruct. But your mercy, let it perpetually rest upon me. How are the mighty falling? How are the weapons of war perish? The story of how is that mercy was withdrawn. Oh, 
Shamena babo na masker manabo. Oh, he seba makonde la de na na mokama malai la koma. She la bole mori atama. Ye la babora de shabada tema mama toma de la mama For those of you that have children invoke the mercy of God upon them from the least to the greatest It is not by power You are not the one that kept them in the womb for 9 months You are not the one that secures they are going out and they are coming in The arrows that fly by day the pestilence that walketh in darkness has shot them many times but it is by the mercy of God Shalele mama lela koma mama si anemo He wants to hold you in his hands and walk with you until the day dawn and the day star rises in your heart. allow his mercy reign reign in the corridors of your life there is a guarantee that you will reach the finish line not of him that we Through your life, 
and the devil cannot stop that God he speaks every day into your spirit so that he can quicken your mortal body to walk with him on a path that no foul no eyes of the vultures have not seen it he wants to make a story out of your life that men will look upon and find courage to walk with him Oh, 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 oh. We trust you, Lord. We will follow you, Lord. Ima kama de la mosana, ye kama de lo maela, so mi la kande lo semaranda mo. Shaye para kina tonena. Saila mo kade ila bala mo se gamanda yena bala yelo. By your blood, you have washed us. By your blood, you have kept us. By your blood, you have called us. Your own. By your blood, you have washed us. By your blood, you have kept us. By your blood, you have called us your own. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Ah, ale, ale, hallelujah. Hosanna. Ale, ale. me. You shine like a light that nothing can extinguish. We will walk in the brilliance of your light. We will navigate by the light that you are putting us and we will not stumble. Oh, oh, na na mo. By your word, you have touched us. By your word, you have kept us. By your word, you sanctify us, Hosanna. By your word, you have kept us. By your word, sanctify us. By your word, purify us, Hosanna. the last that we die by his hand we cut off we cut off every embargo every line that has been drawn every name that was mentioned every blood that was spilled will be the last for the mercy of the Lord comes he comes tonight
the Spirit Himself perfect our infirmity. For we know not how much we ought to pray and what we ought to say. He helped us in mutterings, in groanings that cannot be uttered. Why does God help man so? Because by yourself you will set this top that is a God that comes to help the infirmity of man. We need your help, oh God. The best of us will fail. The best of us will be cut off by the vicious nature of our enemy. By your righteous right hand, we have been preserved all this age in the midst of foes, in the midst of enemies, in the midst of, of, of beasts that seek to devour quickly. We submit to you. We submit to you. Make out of us that which you please. weakness can never see the strength of God. Paul said when I am weak in the same instance I am strong. It's an opportunity for me to apply. Apply for the help that comes by the Spirit of God. The Bible says that if the Spirit of Him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwelleth within you, He shall quicken your mortal bodies by His Spirit that well, I tell you, the race is not to the swift, the battle is not to the strong, it is of God. of time you want to embrace the mercy of God from the depth of your being. We embrace your mercy that we might be preserved. We embrace your mercy that we might be sustained. We embrace your mercy that we might reach the finish line. We embrace your mercy. We embrace your mercy. Make sure you lay hold of his mercy tonight.
Verana si kabara vaboto kombre. Semina takenko sabra hapata barantela. Sofreda kata bonja neta. Moraka vrase kapote matika dese. Me presta kama bonja matada ina. Vera kapesa. Vera kapso menantada. Kombre skapara tenso mande. Ikla brase kapata vaboto Right now, right now, right now. Allow him to take the steering wheel from here. And he will ride by his mercy. Take you to a place of splendor. In that land you will be a great nation. In that land he will make your name great and you will be a blessing. You don't know the way, you need to submit to his master wheel. He, he will navigate you by pathways of his spirit into that promised place wherein you will flourish and become mighty. Have mercy upon your people. Stretch your hands over us, O oh God, and preserve us by your loving kindness. he ordained for you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Sambole te kabala mosa e mamore kabre la somba la mantengo manile Step in now, oh God, step in, step in into every situation, step in into every circumstance, step in by your mercy. upon our families have mercy upon this land have mercy upon our leaders have mercy have mercy Lord
God bless When there is mixed up, you separate yourself. I say others can do it, but not me. Hallelujah. When there's 